So I came across this particular article from the Star newspaper with the headline, Martha Karua no show as Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka endorse the dialogue report. Wamalwa attends coalition top brass meeting but skips the major forum with the MPs. So where there's smoke, there must be fire. And I want us to begin from here right now. So yesterday, Raila Odinga conducted a very ugly and a very boring forum endorsing William Ruto's National Dialogue Report, a report which was disputed by the Azimio topmost leadership and the Azimio supporters simply because the proposals in that report failed to address the key areas like the cost of living. But the main question here is, where was Martha Karua? Can Raila Odinga explain to us the absence of the Jubilee Party, basically Jeremia Kioni or Uhuru Kenyatta? Can Raila Odinga explain the absence of Eugene Wamalwa? The absence of Mwangi Wairia and the Kamwene Leadership Caucus and the rest. And I want you to have a look at these photos here of the leaders that attended that particular event. The topmost Azimio leaders, you can see Raila Odinga, Dr. Stephen Kalunzo Musioka, and Opio Wandai. And according to my critical observations, I noticed that Raila Odinga, who seemed to be very embarrassed, was forced to lie to the public over the absence of Eugene Wamalwa and Martha Karua. According to Raila Odinga, Eugene Wamalwa will sign the report and Martha Karua skipped that particular meeting simply because she is out of the country. But in the real sense, on Sunday, Eugene Wamalwa made a certain statement and he made it very clear that he will not sign that particular statement. I said this in Vihiga, Upper Western. I said this in Mwingi, Kule Eastern. I will not sign that agreement. And also, according to the Daily Nation media article, the divisions in Azimio, as Uhuru Kenyatta, Martha Karua, and Eugene Wamalwa, distance themselves completely from Raila Odinga William Ruto talks. So let me read for you this particular statement here that was made by Raila Odinga concerning Martha Karua and Eugene Wamalwa absence. This is what Raila Odinga said concerning Eugene Wamalwa. Honorable Eugene was here earlier on. In the meeting of the summit, he only had to leave because he had a pressing matter he had to deal with, but he approved the report as presented by the team. That is lie number one. On Martha Karua, Raila Odinga said that we had talked to her today. She is in Somaliland. She is traveling and she will be back around 1 a.m. this morning. But if you can still remember very well, Martha Karua made a statement saying that any purported agreement that does not immediately impact on the cost of living, electoral justice and the respect for multi-party democracy is a fraud on the people and it must be rejected. And that simply explains as to why Martha Karua and Eugene Wamalwa missed that particular event. Currently, the divisions in Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance leadership is that Raila Odinga is with Kalonzo Msioka, while on the other side, Uhuru Kenyatta, Martha Karua and Eugene Wamalwa are on the other side. And that simply explains as to why Raila Odinga quickly embraced the report by Kalonzo Musioka. But in this particular analysis here, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to explain to you the critical details and the secret truth on why these leaders snapped Raila Odinga, which could simply signify their final decision to quit the Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance. And also, could this be the final end of Azimio Laumoja One Kenya Alliance. But before that, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jason and I'm requesting you to please take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. If you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this channel and this particular video here to reach out to others. To my returning subscribers also, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Without your support, this channel cannot be where it is currently.
If you also want to automatically receive the notifications updates from YouTube itself automatically, every time I upload a video on this channel, please don't hesitate by pressing the notification bell down below. Just activate it. So having said that, now let us go straight into the critical details of this particular video. First of all, based on my considered opinion, these leaders decided to snub Raylo Dinga's event simply because they are completely dissatisfied with the proposals in that report. And from the look of things, Raylo Dinga has refused completely to listen to the grievances of these leaders. Raylo Dinga is left with very limited options and you can clearly tell that he is cornered to an extent that he cannot reject the talks. And only time will tell if Raylo Dinga has finally decided to lose the politicians around him but to retain the national dialogue report simply because it has got his own personal interest and political interest. Secondly, of course we cannot fail to explain about the betrayal within the Azimio Lomoja alliance. Did Raylo Dinga betray Uhuru Kenyatta? In my considered opinion, the answer is yes. Because, first of all, Uhuru Kenyatta spent millions funding Raylo Dinga's political events, including the demonstrations across the country. Then Raylo Dinga finally enters into an agreement because of his own personal interest. Secondly, Raylo Dinga betrayed the Azimio supporters who were totally bitter and very angry at Raylo Dinga because they fought so hard for the cost of living to go down through the demonstrations. Only to realize that Raylo Dinga up to date, he has failed to address the cost of living. Let me read for you this particular statement that was made uh, by Raylo Dinga, which was posted from the ODM official X account. A statement that was made officially by Raylo Dinga himself saying that we will seek other ways to press the government to listen to the cries of the people and bring down the cost of living. The other ways will include but will not be limited to consultations with the people. We made it clear we completely disagree completely with the government on matters of cost of living. We made it clear that we will support the document ensuring from the talks but we will treat the headline on the cost of living as the beginning of another phase of the struggle. So after four months long sitting during the bipartisan talks, this is what Raylo Dinga is explaining to his Azimio supporters concerning the cost of living. It is a total disappointment. And finally, I strongly believe that these leaders snubbed Raylo Dinga simply because of the end of Azimio Laomoja Alliance. And I've talked about this so many times concerning the end of Azimio. But very soon, you will see about it. You will see the political leaders from Azimio realigning themselves ahead of the 2027 general elections simply because of the betrayal inside Azimio Laomoja Alliance. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But from the look of things, Azimio is in a total mess. What can you say about all these issues? Let me also know your thoughts, your views and your opinions on the comment section down below. What can you say about Martha Karua, Uhuru Kenyatta, Eugene Omalwa, snubbing Raylo Dinga completely or missing in that particular event? Which in my considered opinion, it was very, very important. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.